Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host this week, Abby Peel. Over a month ago, we had a chance to hear from the superintendent of the Kearsarge Regional School District to hear what it was going to take to go back to school this fall. Now that we are kind of back in school, let's hear from him on how things are going. Well, I have to say I am extremely pleased how our start of school for the last two weeks has happened and uh, how everybody was really working together to make this uh, as successful as possible under the circumstances of the pandemic. We did have two weeks where our staff, our teachers, our paraprofessionals and administrators could get together and prepare for the start of school. And we had about 75% uh, of our students elected to come back to school. The beauty of our system is that both groups receive the same instruction synchronously. The teachers teach to the children in school, in the classroom, and that same instruction gets transmitted to the homes. So our in-school groups are approximately 12 to 15 students in the classroom, depending on the size. All the students get instruction on their computer, on their Chromebooks, um, simultaneously from the same teacher. And those kids also then can interact with kids in the same um, group that are on the remote at home option. Uh, they have the option, if the teacher uh, directs them so, to have breakout rooms and work on projects or work on subgroups uh, with students from the home group as well as the satellite group as well as the classroom group. Sure, the, the reopening plan really applies to all school environments and that includes transportation which poses a tremendous challenge for the bus company and for the for the schools because the typical 71 passenger bus has to be limited to approximately 24 students, but that poses an enormous challenge to get everybody to school. I want to take this opportunity to, uh, for a shout out to our parents who have been just very understanding and very helpful in um, helping us out and transporting some of the students to school. As for our athletic department, um, we have made the, the choice not to have football this season and uh, by the way we are fully in line with all New England states and uh, and New York um, who also have chosen not to offer football or postpone the season. Uh, New Hampshire is currently the only state that uh, where some school districts offer football still. All other sports happen um, in a modified fashion. Um, they have competitions with other school districts but again, the, the game format may be modified. Uh, for instance, instead of 11 players in soccer, we may have eight on the field. Well, again, we're trying to avoid um, parents and volunteers on our school grounds to really limit the potential exposure. All of this obviously uh, is heavily dependent on the development of the pandemic in our district, in our communities, as well as our state. And uh, as we are able to relax some of those restrictions, we will do that in a phased manner. I just talked with our athletic director. Um, but that presupposes that we can uh, provide the maximum safety that we can control as a school district for our students, our staff, our coaches, and also our parents. Just again, I wanted to thank all of our teachers, paraprofessionals, our custodians uh, who really, everybody plays such an important part to make this happen. Um, as I said often, there is just no routine in this school year. Everything has to be rethought, has to be recreated. Uh, we have cleaning schedules that our custodians are keeping and keeping track of. Um, our teachers are making sure that um, we are always screening our students uh, for, for health issues. Our nurses have done a tremendous job uh, in terms of following up with New Hampshire DHHS and uh, CDC regulations and just done everything possibly, uh, humanly possible to, to create a safe school environment. Everybody has to learn new, and we're in the same boat as, as our students, teachers, adults. Everybody is trying very hard to adapt to the new um, 
rules that uh, the pandemic brings with it. Uh, I would recommend that if parents have questions about the plan or about their students, to feel free to contact the, the teacher at first or the administration if you uh, have continuous questions. So everybody is more than happy to help to the best of their ability. Thanks Winfried. It's great to see the can-do attitude of our educators and the extremes they've had to go to to continue their mission of educating our Kearsarge students.